Hey guys and welcome back to another vlog. Today I'm at a very busy Legoland Windsor to check out their Brick or Treat event that they've got running today this, uh, this year. So again, they do this every year. Uh, it's my second time ever doing it, but it'll be the first vlog from here, I believe. Um, I am currently on a solo trip. I will have Luke joining me later on about half one-ish when he gets here after work. But yeah, it's very busy. We've just queued to get in. There's still massive queues to get into the park. Um, the plaza, not really, got loads of stuff around. Obviously, you've got giant pumpkins over here that are making noises. You've got stickers over on the shop windows as well. Um, yeah, people handing out mats, there's people handing out pumpkin hats as well for the kids to wear, which is great to see. Um, but yeah, you've got, like I said, you've got the giant pumpkins over there, which are currently talking. You've got a uh, like Frankenstein over there. You've got a half banana, half skeleton type man over there, Peely Bone. There we go. Obviously, at the moment, I'm guessing there's things for the kids to maybe go around, some activities from trying to try and find bits around. Because you've also got Patch over here, who is a pumpkin. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be, this one's going to be very busy again. They're holding us up by the sweet shop at the moment. Uh, you can walk down towards down the side of Viking, which takes you straight down to the Pirates and Dragons. I'm guessing they'll be holding you down there somewhere as well. But, yeah, a bit foggy out there this morning. Hill train looks like it should be running soon. And yeah, if you remember Alex from previous vlogs, he's currently working today, so we'll go and find him, say hello. But yeah, can't wait to stay ahead to see what the Brick and Treat stuff's got in store today. See you all when we get down okay, to the Okay, so I'm currently over down by Minifigure Speedway, it's just over there behind me. I'm gonna jump on that in about 10 minutes once my time slot's available to go on. Yeah, see about 10 minutes, jump on that. Mini, uh, you've got the Muffy Me Land over there. Doesn't look like they've done much for, like, for Halloween. There may be a few pumpkins and bits around. I'm not too sure. I'm going to have a close look a bit later on. But yeah, we're going to break tradition, which is normally start a fair tale for us. And we're going to jump onto minifigure in about 10 minutes. I've said it's extremely busy today. Apparently, they're expecting over 10,000 guests here today, which is a lot. But like I said, half term has now started, so that would be why, especially around this area, a lot of towards on insect day and then on to half term starting Monday. So, yeah, Halloween coming up. But yeah, give 10 minutes. Many figure speed is going away now, and then yeah, we'll jump on that in about 10 minutes. Not sh might, shouldn't take too long, so yeah. Queue's building up, quite, getting quite busy over there. So yeah, see you all when I get off it. Uh, Wait to get some footage of um, the ride of Mini, Mini Figure Speedway, but unfortunately, it's like it has just broken down. It, they said one train went round and then it stopped, and now everyone's evacuating the station and the queue line, so yeah, it looks like it has broken down. So we'll try and get on that again later. Uh, you've got the Miniland stage over there, which is for a Halloween show that will be on later, uh, later today, which we'll go and have a look at. I head down into Jupiter Valley and see if we can get on some maybe uh, Fairytale Brook, start off how we normally do. But yeah, head down here and see what's going on down here, see if there's any Halloween decorations here as well. Okay, there we go. So I've just been on to Fairytale Brook. I didn't film any footage at this time, but I filmed it on a few other vlogs. So if you want to go check out footage of it, go and have a look on the other vlogs. Um, but yeah, great. Yeah, all the effects look like they're well working this time, which is great to see. So we can head down towards driving school and stuff like that, and then maybe jump on Monster Party and we'll go from there. See how busy it is. Just look, it's getting quieter down as far as he park open what we got put into the park half an hour ago so people have started to spread out across the park now so yeah which is good to see because it will make it quieter and have a ride obviously the topic is very busy very rushed and now, now people have had a chance to spread out it's a lot better but yeah we'll head down jump on see if we can jump on munch pie if it's open and yeah and i'll see you when we get off of there okay so we finally just come off of uh wanted to have munch pie it did break down for about 15 20 minutes but i stayed in the queue we managed to get on it it does feel like it is struggling at place times though. It's, yeah, it looks like a bit joltery. I don't know if it's just part, they've maybe the part of the ride or it's just getting old. I don't know, it's not, it's not really that old to be, to be fair. It's only, what, probably about five years, if that. Um, yeah, it's good to get back on it. Let's sort of made some more lighting effects to it, from what I remember. So yeah, don't wait. We're now just uh, walking up past uh, Deep Sea Adventure. Um, obviously, which has been closed this year because they're re uh, redoing loads of it. And yeah, it does sound like they're uh, digging and doing work up on the queue line. We can hear a lot of like construction sounds coming on. Yeah, so as you can see, there is work going on down there. So if you can see that on the camera. So yeah, I'm not sure what they're doing. Maybe they're doing, uh, redoing the queue line, making it bigger. 
I'm not too sure. But yeah, I believe they have had fish start to be back delivered there. So it shouldn't be long now. It should be ready to open again next year. So yeah, it's a shame to see it shut because it is a good ride. We'll see if it does open in time for when the path opens back up next March-ish. But yeah, no Halloween decorations around here though. I guess not many people come this way now. So once you hit one supply, there's nothing. No rides now until you get round to where like, the skyline is and stuff like that, which is all the way inside the lake over there. But yeah, they got bunting around, stuff like that. But yeah, we'll head round there, maybe jump off like the skyline, uh, onto the Hydra as well, and have a look, yeah. So we're going on over here, so there's how many Halloween decorations. I can see some skeleton heads coming up around here. So yeah, maybe I'll uh, have a look at, get some footage of those on the way past. So yeah, there they are. So there, as you can see, you just got seeing just the white blobs just over there. Yeah, get closer and get some footage of those for you guys. Okay, so currently over at Mythical area. Um, everything is very busy. Uh, there's an hour queue on front of Skyland with the wrap queue fully booked. Um, uh, the Ice and Fire drop towers uh, for about half hour queue, I think it was. Uh, and Hydra Challenge, I'm not going to go on it's too cold and wet out to go on a wet ride. But yeah, uh, me is, oh well, it wasn't me, it's now Autumn's. Obviously, the San Pella Discus over there, the Hawks Riding one, it's currently closed. Um, so have a look at Laser Raiders now and see how that's doing. So yeah, I mean it's currently 20 past 11, I've done two rides, so it's, you can tell it's definitely very busy. So yeah, I'm going to run through, jump through onto Laser Raiders, and see how that's going today, and see how bad the queue is for that. So yeah, let's, let's check what it's currently at. Um, so I've got my app that I'm using here to book the wrap. Now Laser Raiders currently queue at 35 minutes, and I can get on now. So there you go, I'm going to go on it now, see you all when I get off. Okay, so I joined the queue, got scanned in, back, uh, getting close to the uh, station and the ride broke down, had to be evacuated, so they're saying it could be a while till it's back up and running. So I just had to go and get my, part, uh, my wrap reset, and I've now got onto the Dragon, so I'm going to go and jump into Creepy Cobweb Castle and get a ride on the Dragon. This is the part of the area, the part where they do do a lot of stuff for Halloween, look. as you can see, all that. You've also got loads more decorations over here. And that's the exit to the um, intro data where we can do the trick or treating part. But yeah, let's go and jump into the Cobweb Castle. They've got the giant spider up there as well. Let's go and jump on. See you all when I get off. Right, okay, so I've just come off of the dragon. Also currently now known, I don't know if it's just for Easter or not, dis uh, Disco Dragon. So they have done a lot, uh, a lot of stuff in there for, I'm guessing it's just for Halloween. But there's a disco music playing inside the castle, the station, the dark scene. They've got coloured lights, moving heads. They've got disco balls all throughout the dark scene. So it looks really great in there. It's like I don't know, yeah, put a lot of work into it. It does look really great. And it works really well in there. Again, like I said, I don't know if it's just for Halloween or if it's a thing they're doing now for the future. I'll see if I can find out. But yeah, it does look really good over there. There right, we go. Yeah, I've got my gun grab to eat quickly. Uh, go and go see Alex. Alex is on break in half an hour, so I'll go meet up with him for a bit. See how he's doing. Uh, Luke should be here in about an hour and a half as well to join. So yeah, we will do that. We we'll head over to the fast lane because quick to tweet, and then go meet Alex. Um, it's yeah, definitely very busy in parts. The queue for the dragon is all the way through the main queue and across the whole castle. So yeah, it's, it is very busy today. And we've got the Jolly Rocker here as well. Uh, Pirate Falls is obviously closed due to it being about well, winter basically, it's too cold to be running that. So yeah, yeah, go and find quick things pretty to eat, don't know what I'm going to grab yet. And yeah, I'll see you uh, uh, in a little bit. Okay, so just been and got on to Mia's, walked around with Alex for a little bit. He, he's not uh, working on his break, he's going to go off to his break now. He'll be back out in a little bit. Uh, about half one, he'll be back out and we'll back up to him to 4D. Uh, yeah, just been over on Mia's, or Autumn's as it's called now actually, I've finally changed it all properly. Uh, yeah, great to get back on that. Fun little ride here. Obviously that did replace the JCB area, which is, so that is a lot, lot better than it was. Obviously you can hear a lot of music in the background. You've currently got the Halloween show over on the lake over there, which we'll try and get some footage of later. But yeah, for now I'm just going to wait around, watch a little bit of it. 
might get a bit of footage while I'm here if I can and then yeah wait for Alex to come out and Luke should be here in about what's the time about 15 minutes Luke should roughly be here hopefully so yeah see you all okay, in a little guys. bit guys Luke has finally arrived he's here um, we're going to jump into the 4D cinema, Alex is back on that, so I'll get a clip of him for you. But yeah, jump on the 4D cinema and it opens in about 10-15 minutes to watch uh, Lego Dreams. So yeah, we'll jump on that. It should be a bit late again to have the um, Great Monster Chase, which is the Halloween show. And then we get, get losing some rides. Yep. Did you manage to get wrapped booked in the end? So, no, no, I let you do it. Not fair. Anyway, we'll see you all. See you back. He's there. There's your Alex. <laughs> there. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> See you. Right, well, okay, so we went and watched the 4D film. Yeah, really good, great use of effects. Got quite wet in there, to be fair, didn't you? Yeah. We well, expecting to get that wet. We're gonna head back up there for about half four to go and see the Halloween show. And then Alex may join us after, he finishes at five, so he may join us for the last hour, we'll see. Uh, right now, we've got um, a book, we've got reserved a um, place on Mini Figure Speedway, because it has opened back up. We're just gonna quickly grab drinks, and then we're gonna head over to Flight Skyline and jump on that as well. So yeah, we've got a half an hour to a minifigure, go and get drinks, flight the skyline, and then we can head back over here for minifigure. So yeah, we'll see you when we go over to flight the skyline. Okay, so we've just been onto flight the skyline. We're running really well, we're on the bottom row. Luke, first time enjoy it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the usual yeah. But yeah, no, it's running well. Good to get back on it. Middle section is definitely the best section to go on, obviously we're at the bottom. Um, we weren't going to make it in time for minifigures, so we've rescheduled that for four. We're going to head over towards Johnny Rocker and do the uh, Monster uh, Street trick or treat section. Get some footage of that for you guys. And maybe get on some rides over here within the next hour. Then it's half an hour to do um, minifigure before going to meet Alex for the next uh, for the Halloween show. So yeah. Here we're back at heading into Pirate Shores. Oh, we might have bags. Thank you. Do you want one, Luke? Yeah, why not? Do you want to have one as well? Thank you. Another one. Why not? Guys, I'm about to give you a bag.
bad, Chief. Good, thank you. What sort of monster are you? I'm a human. Scare a human, scariest of them all. So you're a monster that's disguised as a human. Yeah. Oh, that's the worst, aren't they? What are you? The same. The same. We don't like humans. Yeah. Talking of uh, not liking humans, do you see Spider Boy over there? Yes, I'm acting a bit strange. Can you suss out what's going on? Thank you. Right, do you both like sweets and chocolate? We do. You do, there you go. Thank you. For you and one for you, right, kid? Don't try to open them, okay? Share them up. Hello. How are you? Good, you? Good, thank you. I'm very, very good. Are you both here for some Lego? Yeah. Yeah? Well, um, I have a rule, you see, when I'm giving out Lego. Grown-up monsters must do a silly dance. So, um, whenever you're ready. You first. Excellent. Is that silly enough? Yeah. Yeah? You're done. I don't know. Go on, Luke. Do a dance. <laughs> Come on. Silly dance. Anything. Is that silly enough? Nah, he's copying silly me. Silly <laughs> Come on. Silly dance. I don't know. Anything. No, they're going to. Fine, fine, fine. Oh. He gave it a shot, and that's all that counts. There you are. Thank Enjoy. You. Bye. <laughs> Guys, I'm stressed out. Why? Because I'm a human, and all my friends who think I'm a spider, please don't tell me one. Can you do that? Promise? Yeah. Phew. Phew. Do I look like a spider? A little bit. A little bit. Well, no one's asked me yet, so. <laughs> and they are getting a bit sus. Are they? Which one? I'm a bad side. First one. Yeah, but with a face like that, I'm fine. Let me take a See ya. <laughs> Okay, so we've just come out of there. Hope you enjoyed the footage there. Uh, not too bad. I mean, the queue's quite big. We use wrap to get in, get some footage for you guys. It's quite a long queue, probably not worth the queue. I mean, little ones, yeah. Obviously, in the, we've got the bag, we've got a pop, a couple of uh, some Harry Bows, Curly Whirly, and some Lego there. So, same for everyone, not too bad. Obviously, it's many kids we asked if we can have bags, they gave us some, which is nice. But yeah, bad. It is worth it, it's enjoyed, a bit of fun, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. As you see, Luke got embarrassed and wouldn't do a silly dance for the camera. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to have half an hour till minifigure. So we're going to head over to maybe see what else we can get on around here. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. See, once we've decided what ride we're going to go on, I mean, we can't book anything on that for 15 minutes. So, yeah, we're going to see if there's anything right nearby that's quiet to go on. And yeah, see from there. Um, see you when we decide what we're doing. Right, okay, so we're going to head over to um, uh, Monster House, um, the Honda House Monster Pie, get Luke on that for the first time. Apparently, a five minute queue, which isn't too bad. So, there's we'll jump on that, we'll get on that before uh, minifigure. So, yeah, not too bad. Heading down there now, we're going past Fire Academy and Blue School. Definitely not doing those, well, definitely not doing Fire Academy. Your arms hurt after that. <laughs> and Blue School's a little bit boring. So, yeah, we're going to jump on Haunted House. And yeah, it looks like it may have just opened back up and been broken, not 100% sure. We'll go and check. But yeah, head down there now. No little calf closed. Most, a lot of the little ones I have, I have no calf closed today. So yeah. But yeah, basically coming through the Lego City, so you've got Coast Guard HQ, Driving School, and then obviously it's down to Heart Lake City down that way, and obviously Monster Party down that way. So yeah, we'll jump on that, and I'll see you when we get off. Okay, there we go. So we've just been on Haunted House Monster Party. Luke sort of enjoyed that. Yeah. 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 I didn't want to tell him too much about it. I didn't want to ruin the experience for him. But yeah, he enjoyed it. Like I said, it's a great ride. Very unique here for the UK. Uh, we're just going up onto Minifigure Speedway. Although it doesn't look like anything's happening up there. So maybe it's closed again. We'll try and find out. See what's happening up there. Uh, but yeah, we're going to head up there. See what's going on. Update you. Okay, there we go. So we've just come out and watched uh, the 4D cinema. 
for the Halloween show. Really good, very wet, but yeah, really good. Luke, you enjoy that? Yeah, wet. Yeah, very wet, yeah. Even my bag, well, my bag got soaked. Like, literally soaked. But yeah, there's Alex joining us as well. Well, say joining us, he's walking home because he's about to eat finish finishing the work for the day. He's got other stuff to do after. So yeah, me and Luke are going to head on to Tomb Raiders. And yeah, and then maybe try and get on the dragon after. Oh, hello. <laughs> but yeah, not too bad. Yeah, an okay stay, very busy. Looks like we might be starting to quieten down a lot now. So yeah. Did, obviously, you didn't get to get footage of all the shows, a lot of them have stopped now. Obviously, rides have been busy, so we've been prioritising those. Also, we've done the walkthrough, went trick or treating. So, yeah, we'll head over to uh, Tomb Raider and we'll see you when we get off there. Right, okay, so we've just been on to Tomb Raiders. My gun was working very well. Um, but yeah, enjoyed it. Good to be back on that, Luke. Yeah, it's been a while. Been, yeah, it has been a while. Um, apparently, Jolly Rockers, yeah, Jolly Rockers opened up. But it looks like it's going to be a bit of a queue. We're going to go to the toilet. So that's advertised at five. Dragon's advertised at five. I can see Jolly Rocker definitely isn't at five. We're going to go to the toilet, get drinks, and then we'll go and have a look and see what how bad Dragon is over there at the castle. Which is appears to all be up in, uh, coloured up in green at the moment. Now it's getting a bit darker. So yeah, we're going to have a look at that in a little bit. We've just been back on the dragon. Well, I have Luke on it for the first time in a long time. Enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Better than yeah. you remember? You don't remember much of it, do yeah. you? <laughs> yeah. But as you can see there, look, the castle's all lit up in green, got the right lights all flashing around it. Uh, you can see some of the blue front lights in the windows and a bit sort of two up there. But yeah, it's really good to see that. They do a lot of stuff here. I mean, this is like I said, one of the most themed, most themed parts of the park for Halloween, apart from obviously the walkthrough. So yeah, no, it's good to get back on that again. We're going to head over to Fairytale Brook um, and then we'll see what time we have. We've only got about 15 minutes till park close. So yeah, we'll jump on the Fairytale Brook and see how we do, uh, what time we have after that. So see you when we get up there. Okay, there we go, guys. So we've just been back onto Fairytale Brook. Luke's first time again in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't remember much of it, I don't think, do you? No, not really. No. We'll just, we'll, yeah, all the rides are now closing, obviously. It's gone six, the park's closing. So we're going to head up to the top and end the video for you guys. May have a quick wander through the gift shop, see if there's anything new I can spot. But yeah, let's meet you back at the top. Okay guys, that's it. Today's vlog here from Legoland Windsor, as you can see up there. Do you enjoy yourself, Luke? Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy yeah. Half a day? Yeah. Favourite ride? Uh, Speedway. Speedway, yeah. yeah. It is a good old ride. Definitely the best ride here. But yeah, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's vlog from the update from Chess and World Adventures. Uh, not sure what the next vlog will be on from this channel, but it'll be a while since one it could, it may just be videos from uh, my live streams for, over from Twitch when I'm streaming Planet Coaster 2, it's not long for that. It may also be uh, from Silkstone at Thought Park, the event I'm going to next month as well. But yeah, thank you all for watching, please like and subscribe, join all the socials, join Discord, follow me on Twitch, you know what to do, see you all later.